sometimes time goes by so fast and Little Witch Academia is already on episode 6. And it was the first time that I watched a Little Witch Academia episode and after the ending I was like, okay, that was nice. You know, I wasn't really overly hyped about the episode itself and I think that this episode didn't really get my attention. But it was a very important episode because it introduced two different things uh, that are key to the series. First of all, I just want to talk about Akko. Akko is obviously our protagonist and she loves magic. We already know that. But she has a very big problem. She doesn't really study magic. She wants to learn magic by simply being there at the school, living magic, you know? and. It seems to me that she is not really doing the right thing to learn magic. You know, she's, she doesn't really care about studying, she doesn't really care about paying attention to the classes, and it seems that she's really falling behind. We have to remember that it was it's her first year at magic school, but at the same time she's always so excited, but at the same time not trying hard enough to be able to perform simple magic. And so far, she's been able to perform um, some pretty strong magic, some pretty impressive magic, but it was just out of luck and emotion. What about daily life magic as they do? I mean, and this episode was very important because of that. This episode is like a key to Akko's waking up. It's, the, it's Akko's wake up call. This is it. This is the time for her to open her eyes and notice that she really needs to step up her game. She, need, she really needs to study. She really needs to concentrate. She really needs to be humble and really learn what, the, what she's supposed to learn as a witch in Luna Nova. And there is another thing. There's another aspect of Little Witch Academia that's been talked about in the episode before, in episode 5, and it's been brought back in episode 6, and I think that this is going to be one of the major plots of the series, especially at the end, you know, to create a little conflict. And it's the case about magic not being important in the current world. And to be honest, we don't really know why yet. It seems that the overall, uh, the, the regular world doesn't care about magic and the witch world, the magical world, the magical universe, they don't really care about it anymore and I don't know if there's an economical side to it, maybe it's not worth it financially as we've seen in episode 5 or is there something more? This is something that hasn't been explained to us yet. Why is magic so uh, considered so low to, it seems, to be considered so low by society? And because we've seen it in two instances, in episode 5 by the dragon, by the financial dragon, and then in episode 6 we've, we have a very strong political presence. Magic is not useful for them, you know, and I think that it's obviously something that is not useful for them to profit on, but maybe there's something more we don't know yet. And I think this is going to be one of the keys to the series. I think this is going to be one of the conflicts, one of the main conflicts of the series later on, because Luna Nova's life seems to be at the end. And can someone do something about it? Can someone turn the tables? And in this episode, we've seen uh, a very funny situation with Akko, but uh, the situation was kind of tense. And Akko's meeting with the that uh, the very important man's son was very um, was also a key moment, I think. But when I started seeing that, I was expecting something that is very obvious to media in general. That man hated magic. He thinks magic is not interesting at all. And then he met Akko. And then I thought, okay, by the end of the episode, he is going to be totally bewitched by magic and he's going to try to change his father's opinion on it. And it didn't really happen like that. I think that the guy, I forgot his name, obviously, the guy, he isn't really interested in magic yet. 
but he got a little interest in Akko. And let's be honest here, the way uh, Akko showed magic to him and the way uh, the situation was handled wasn't really something to make his opinion change. Nothing really um, made a great impact on him, except for Akko's passion and, and how far she would go for something. And this something is magic in this case. But you know, I feel like uh, it was not strong enough to change his opinions. It wouldn't be strong enough to change mine. But okay, they had a little journey. Akko was very cute with the bunny ears, with the little reindeer nose. And I think that she was very cute and the animation was obviously something to be grateful for because it is great. And again, we have something huge. We have something big in this episode, which was that fountain. I don't remember uh, the name of the, the that place, that specific place that Akko went to. But uh, that place was something uh, that made such a big impact on Akko. And that is something that's obviously going to change her. And that's what I was talking about earlier. That, that, that specific situation that she saw Chariot in. I mean, she saw that Chariot was not really someone who was a genius right at the start. She had to try hard to do what she wanted. And even with that, some people didn't really believe her. Some people really thought that she was an outcast. Some people really saw her as a strange witch. And I think that those moments really got to Akko and I think that now she's gonna be able to see it in a different situation. And there was also a very special moment to which we saw a red hair turning green, right? Uh, I think that, uh, yeah, it's a hint, but let's not talk about it right now, right? And uh, one little thing that I wanted to say was Diana's role in this episode. I think that Diana was kind of passive when it comes to defending magic and defending uh, the school. Because uh, that guy critiqued the school a lot and critiqued magic, critiqued the culture of witches for her and she, she, she really seemed angered, she really seemed bothered by it and we could see it on her face, we could see it on her expression, but she didn't really fight back, you know, she didn't really try to convince him or uh, not even try to show her point. And that's obviously part of her personality, that's obviously part of who she is and what she needs to be. She needs to be that polite, um, clear-headed woman and, and clear-headed witch, so she can't lose her cool. But uh, Akko is totally different. Akko is full of reaction. And, well, we've seen what happened when you confront Akko when it comes to magic. She was totally crazy and she went very far just because of magic but not really to show that guy that magic is important at the end of the day she was just trying to um, do something for herself and for her love of magic she wasn't really trying to convince him that's a thing as well but uh, I think that Akko and Diana they love magic as much as another one but they just show it differently they just you know externalize their love in different ways and Akko is obviously obviously more vocal than Diana and yes I think that this episode had some important points the development was not the best I think that everything being shown at night didn't really favor the color palette and I think it was Everything's very blue at night in uh, in Luna Nova, and I don't know. It it was it felt a little monotone, even with all the action. The episode felt a little monotone. But uh, as I was saying, this episode is probably going to be very important in the future. So please leave a comment with your opinions on Little Witch Academia episode six. We're on to more episodes, and things are starting to move. Things are starting to heat up, and. Well, I think that something political is going to happen in the future and I am very, very excited for it. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye bye!